this guy who literally has zero experience is talking more facts than most people on the internet. What is going on my lovely people? Candace be here. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome to my new ones. How are you guys doing today? Long time no see, like what it do? Where y'all been? Like, come on now, I've been here. I don't know where y'all have been, but I've been here. I'm just kidding, I really haven't, yeah. So, sorry I've been a little bit MIA in terms of just like y'all seeing my face. Um, but yeah, we're back. We're back and we're better than ever. <laughs> so today I am back with another Forex related reaction video. And today's video is pretty interesting. You know, usually I'm reacting to actual Forex traders talking about, you know, things, their journey or them making money or whatever the case may be. But I came across this video talking about basically trying trading Forex for the first time with zero experience. And this video is by, uh, what is this man's name? Daniel. Inskeep. Yeah, so I'm not too sure who this individual is to be honest with you. I was just kind of scrolling on YouTube like I do and I found this video and I know there are a lot of videos like this where people like do little challenges and they're like, oh, I traded Forex or I traded stocks without experience and this is what I did. So yeah, let's see, you know, what happens. I'm pretty interested to see if he ends up doing well without any experience trading forex i mean i don't know many people who have just kind of dove into the forex market and then done well but maybe he's an exception so yeah that being said hit that like button if you are also curious to see if he ends up doing well trading forex without any experience and that being said oh and also subscribe to your girl i almost forgot why did i subscribe come on trust me trust me subscribing is the best thing you can do today okay in addition to just taking care of yourself you know but that being said okay let me just stop blabbering let us get into this video in this video i'm going to see what the deal is with forex and if it's a reasonable way for the average person to make money online For anything like me, you've probably heard of Forex mainly in spammy YouTube comments or on Instagram profiles of bros in front of luxury cars with entrepreneur in their bios. Is he oh my gosh. Wait, I want to see if I recognize anybody. I think I saw... Wait, how do I like rewind this enough? Because that was quick. I think I saw Cube. Or on Instagram profiles of Let's bros see. in front of luxury cars with entrepreneur in their bios. I love that is. Uh, Mamba FX. Millionaire mentor, I've seen that person or that page. Daniel Savage, Forex trader, I've seen that person's page. I think he's like a French, wait, is this? Yeah, the French trader. I don't know who this is. Austin Silver, I've seen him. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. And Qbanks. <laughs> it seems the main way people make money with Forex is by selling courses or indicators or signals to other people and not by actually trading it. So I'm gonna to try to find out if it's legitimate or not by spending the week researching, studying, opening up a brokerage account, and then finally making some trades. So. Oh, so it's not really zero experience. He said he's gonna research and everything. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see what happens. Time to go learn. Okay, so I spent the last few days learning as much as I can about Forex, and while I still find it pretty confusing, here are the basics. If you have no idea what Forex is, it's basically the foreign currency exchange. Currencies trade against each other in pairs like the Euro and the US dollar. You'll see them together on a chart or a trade and it'll say something like EUR slash USD. In this instance, EUR or the Euro is the base currency. Then the USD or US dollar is the counter currency known as the quote currency. So here what would be shown on the chart is the Euro. So if you think the US economy will weaken, which would be bad for the US dollar, you might buy an order of EUR USD. The markets run 24 hours a day, five and a half days a week in major financial hubs across the globe in different time zones. Pretty much when the trading day here in the US ends, the markets open in Tokyo and Hong Kong. So I found a site called Baby Pips, which is a huge free online course covering- Guys. Any beginners watching this, I always say anytime someone messages me or DMs me and they're like, where to start, I need help. I'm like, babypips.com, babypips.com. The basics of Forex. And while I've only completed 39 of the 351 lessons on there, the way my personality is, I'm just champing at the bit to dive in and learn by doing. 
But if you really do want to learn about Forex, I recommend checking out this free course on Baby Pips. They're not a sponsor. It's 100% free and it's a really great resource. I also created a demo account with the platform that it seems most Forex traders use and that's MetaTrader 4. Most people recommend trading with the demo account for about a month to get the hang of Forex before you use real money, but I don't have time for that. After my first hugely successful trade on my demo account, I figured I was a natural Forex guru and it was time to start using real money. When it comes to brokers, some are sketchy and some are legitimate and there's still some nuances between them that I don't fully understand. So just do your research first before you deposit real money. I decided to open an account with Forex.com and I deposited $1,000 with my debit card and it funded the account instantly. So now I'm good to go. So with Forex, you always wanna manage your risk. When you place a trade, either buying or selling, you wanna make sure that you set a stop loss. If the trade moves against you, this guy who literally has zero experience is talking more facts than most people on the internet saying, you know, oh, you can make all this money in Forex. Like, dude, he's, I think he's gonna do well. Do you, the stop loss will trigger the position to close so you don't lose more money than you're willing to risk. And conversely, you wanna make sure to set a take profit level so when the trade moves in your favor, it'll also close the position and capture the profit. Just like stock option trading, you wanna have a favorable risk to reward ratio. So to simplify things, you might set your stop loss so if the trade moves against you, at most, you would lose a dollar. And then you might set your take profit level to $3 of profit, which would give you a three to one risk to reward ratio. And that way you've managed your risk and will hopefully keep your account from blowing up. One other aspect to trading is charting. In order to better predict price movements, you can use technical analysis to look for patterns and then plot support and resistance levels. There is no magic indicator or anything like that, but when you have multiple indicators all pointing to the same thing, that can help you be more confident when making a trade. I opened up a free trial on TradingView, which is the charting platform that just about every trader uses. So I'll use TradingView to pull up charts of the currency pairs, and then I'll use MetaTrader 4 with Forex.com to execute the trade. If that all sounds confusing, it's because it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna to try to make some trades. No, it's not. That was simple. Come on now, that was simple. Trades with real money. All right, I guess I'm not the Forex guru I thought I might be. After three losing trades, I feel a little directionless with my strategy and I feel like I'm just forcing trades for the sake of it. I can see why this niche is so prone to guru selling courses and signals and things like that because it is rather difficult to get started and feel confident in what you're doing with Forex. Even with a little background with trading the stock market, I feel pretty confused when I'm trying to trade Forex. Now I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos and see if I can get a little bit more guidance. guy is cool i don't know like his vibe his aura the quality of his videos are it is dope obviously the quality of this video is amazing but like he has like a very calming voice and he has a very seems like a chill personality i like this dude okay so i strongly advise that you don't spend any money when you're trying to learn forex but i did decide to join the vip group of a forex youtuber the group is forty dollars a month and has a few training videos and also puts out signals via the app Telegram. I watched those videos and they broke- He's not gonna tell us who, who is it? Tell us who, who whose group did you join? Down some simple strategies to look for potential trade setups. Basically you start by looking at currency pairs in the four hour time frame. This means each candlestick represents four hours. This gives you the big picture of the overall price movement. Once you identify if it's in an uptrend or a downtrend or just moving sideways, 
then you can plot support and resistance lines, and then you can move into shorter time frames like the one hour or 15 minute and look for an entry. So I went through a lot of these currency pairs practicing my charting to get a solid grasp on the concepts. And I have to admit, I do feel more comfortable trading Forex, but it really all comes down to if I can do this profitably. I'm not sure when or how often I'll get signals from that Forex VIP group. So I did join a few other free ones and I will just try out these signals and see how they go. I may even look for some setups myself and then try out some trades of my own. All right, so I'm currently trading stock options in my main brokerage account, my retirement account, my Robinhood account for my 100K challenge video. And I'm trying to get a dropshipping experiment off the ground. So needless to say, I'm spread pretty thin. So last night I decided to get some more Forex signals coming in since the groups I'm currently in have not put out any signals while I've been awake. So I found a seller on Fiverr offering Forex signals. So I bought those for around $35. Hold on, they actually offer Forex signals on Fiverr? Man, Fiverr is that website, that app. Like whoever made it, they are genius because it literally does it all. Wow, it offers every service. This morning I opened Telegram where these signal groups are and I noticed one from the Fiverr seller. And it wasn't a normal signal, it was more of a broad suggestion on a couple of currency pairs. So I pull up the chart for USD JPY and it was looking pretty bullish. So I decided to enter a buy trade. I set my take profit and my stop loss and then it actually started going up. As I watched the price go up, I would occasionally adjust my stop loss and increase it so that it would close my position out at higher and higher price points. Once the price increased enough, I raised my stop loss above my entry point, which was where I bought the pair. Okay, this guy is proof that literally having common sense is literally the way to keep things simple with Forex. Like through a little bit of research, this dude figured out, you know, the importance of the stop loss, the fact that, you know, you move your stop loss up as price goes in your direction, you put it into profits once you're able to like, bruh, he, he probably will do well in Forex if, if he actually took it seriously, just because he seems to have that mindset right off the bat. This way, it's pretty much guaranteeing me that I don't lose money on this trade. But I ended up closing out that trade for a profit of $12.68. All right, finally getting on the right track here. With my newfound confidence, I decided to enter a couple of trades on my own. I clicked through the charts of the different currency pairs looking for strong direction. I ended up buying GBP JPY and soon after closed out for a profit of $1.15. I then bought Euro NZD and watched the price move around for a little bit before finally going up. I closed this trade out for a profit of $1.97. Okay, so my account is now $1,009.69, but I know you didn't click on this video just to watch me struggle my way to just earn 1% on my money, so now it's time to go big. So the way to make more money with Forex or maybe lose more money is by increasing your lot size. So that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna wait for a signal from one of my groups or just look for a really strong setup on the charts. Okay, so I still like the chart for JBP, JPY, so I entered a buy order. Unfortunately, my stop loss was set a little too tight. So when the trade started to go against me, it ended up closing my position for an $8.74 loss. I immediately re-entered the position and then entered my stop loss a little farther down to give it a little bit more breathing room. Unfortunately, I got stopped out of the trade again for a loss of $16.23. So clearly I need more practice. Meanwhile, I also signed up for a free trial of something called Agora Algo, which is supposed to help you find potential trades by analyzing price action and then marking the charts with buy and sell signals. I also joined their Discord group and I ended up getting a signal for AUD USD, so I entered the trade. Unfortunately, I wasn't really paying attention and the market ended up closing for the weekend, so I was stuck in the trade. On Monday, I ended up closing out of this trade for a loss of $9.50. Then I finally caught a trade from that YouTubers VIP group that I joined. I bought USD JPY, first buying a micro lot, but since I wanted to up the stakes, I bought the same trade, but this time with a mini lot since I wanted to risk a little bit more money. I actually made a profit of $11.30 off this trade, which was pretty good.
So what I found is a lot of these groups I've joined don't post a lot of signals, at least compared to the stock option groups I've been in. I think in the case of Forex, the markets are just super efficient, which that basically means that the markets reflect all the available information out there. And this makes it hard for retail traders like myself to actually make any sort of profit. So the prevailing strategy seems to be patient and wait for the right setup and have a lot of confidence in the trade and then execute it with a good risk to reward ratio. And while waiting for the right opportunity, now is actually the perfect opportunity opportunity to hit the like button on this video because it'll make me feel like a winner. I'm gonna do that. I like him. Let's let's like this video. So the problem is when you're first starting out, it's hard to identify the right opportunities to trade. And this is why so many people rely on signal services. The problem here is then you never learn how to properly analyze a potential trade and instead you're relying on these signals and it just makes it hard to progress as a trader and be successful long term. So over the past two weeks, I've tried to enter as many trades as I could when alerted and tried to find opportunities myself. Here's how that went. My biggest profit was from the Fiverr group I joined and it was selling odd CHF and on that trade I made $42.95. The biggest losing trade I took was from the YouTubers VIP group, and on that trade, I lost $65.90. Ouch. So now let's break down the trades and how much I made based on the source. For the Fiverr group I joined, I made $53.10 off those trades. The group cost $35 to join, so I'm left with about $18 in profit. Next, there's Agora Algo, and I joined this on a free trial, so it didn't cost me anything, which is good because I ended up losing $19.79. Then on the YouTubers VIP group, which cost $40, I lost $82.91 in trades. According to him, the second signal that I traded on was his first losing trade in over 20 different trades, but I can't really verify that. He also said December is one of the toughest months to trade Forex, which I can't really verify, but it does seem to hold true. Then for the trades that I took on my own, I ended up losing $31.18. So in total, I lost about $80 in this experiment with an additional $75 in those signal services. But just like any other type of trading, you shouldn't really expect to be profitable your first two weeks of trading. There are some aspects of Forex that I liked. It's heavy on technicals. You can set your take profit and stop loss. And you don't have to obsessively watch it like you might with stock options. When you make a profitable trade, it feels like easy money, but just as easily the next trade can go against you and then you feel like you have no idea what you're doing. So here's the thing. I don't think Forex is good for the average person to get into. For one, it's pretty hard to learn. At least I had a hard time trying to understand all the intricacies involved. And two, whenever you have a niche that consists mainly of people trying to sell you training or signals or just trying to present a flashy lifestyle, that should be a warning sign. Theoretically, if you have a winning system, you should just be able to scale that up with the size of your entries and simply make more money. And that's not to say no one makes money trading Forex. I think it's possible. It's just really difficult to do long term. In this YouTubers VIP group I joined, it's $40 a month and there are over 2,000 people in this group. So he's making over $80,000 a month without having to make a single trade. Of course, you can assume that if his signals aren't good, people will leave the group. But as long as you can keep attracting new customers, you can make a lot of money. Over the last two weeks, I took 31 trades and so it's a small sample size and by no means definitive. But the main takeaway from this video should be, if you're interested in Forex, please keep your money in your pocket. Just like any other type of trading, open a demo account, trade with fake money until you feel comfortable in your strategies. Scour the internet for free educational resources and don't fall for any of these get rich quick Forex scams. So for me, Forex seems like it's a far easier way to lose your entire investment than it is to make significant returns. I'd rather invest in a company than trade currencies based on exchange rates. If you do want me to keep trading crypto, I can, and I can give you an update in a month or two. Just let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll move on to something like uh, trading crypto or futures. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye. I really like that video. I really, re I respect his opinion. You know, for someone who didn't know anything about Forks before and took the time to research, obviously, you know, he may have opinions that may differ from other individuals, obviously people who have been able to make a living long term from Forex. The fact that he mentioned it is definitely an industry that has a lot of scammers in it. I absolutely agree. It's unfortunate, but it's the reality of it. So like he said, keep your money in your pocket, you know. Do your due diligence, be slow with the process, and then when you're comfortable, then you can start investing. So it really just depends on so many factors, but I really did enjoy this video, and I feel like this was 
way better than I thought it would be. I thought it was just gonna be kind of all over the place, but I liked the fact that he kind of had a spreadsheet. He compared different things that he was doing. It was very well organized. And as someone who's like OCD about organization, I love that. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did hit that like button, you know, I always appreciate it. And comment down below, how did your forest journey start? Did you kind of just dive in with no experience like he did? Or did you kind of, you know, take the time and demo trade for a couple of months and, and try to figure out and, and, you know, do a lot of research and all that good stuff. Let me know how you got into it. Me personally, if you watched my video on how I got into Forex, you know that I just kind of dove right into it and, you know, found one of those gurus, those little scamming gurus and they messed me up. So that took a, a huge toll on my mindset, my mentality from the beginning. So. It took a lot to, you know, get over that, but let me know how you guys started your journey. And last but not least, do not forget to subscribe so you know when I post another video. And in the meantime, feel free to check out any of my other videos on this channel and my other channel, Candice BTV, where I vlog and... Honestly, I thought this was Candice BTV for a second. Oh my gosh, I just blanked. <laughs> oh, this is the problem with having more than one channel. But anyways, guys, I hope you have a fabulous, splendid, beautiful day, week, and life. Bye.